Hi guys, it's Luke from Luke's Mushrooms. We have Friday the 11th of August 2023. I'm in Slovakia and we are hunting for mushrooms, so let's start. Now we are in this mostly beach forest. And I have found something nice. Maybe you can see it now, maybe not yet. But I will start with this small guy. A little sap. Which looks great. But it's too small to take, so what I usually do with such small ones I cover them to increase the chance that they will grow bigger At least as big as these two Beautiful two tips. Under this huge beech tree we have an amazing spot for some tips. And I will start picking them right away. So the first one looks very good. And just now I noticed there is a small guy here, which is quite huge thanks to a very thick stem, so I'm taking it. This one is quite well hidden. Uh, wow, this one is quite huge actually and very nicely shaped so that's three four this one is a bit old and the stem is a bit soft so not sure if this one will be okay we'll see Smaller one, but with a perfect shape. So that's five, which is still less than half from what I counted before. So let's continue. Here is a very tiny one, which I will not take. So just cover it. So I think that was six, we have seven, mm, this one is too old, I'm not taking it, we will rather take this, this younger one. So if I count correctly this is eight. Nine. Then, but I think I will leave this one to grow. Then, also this one is too small for me to take. Eleven. Beautiful. And twelve, another tiny one. So I will just get back to the others. This is what I'm taking from this one spot. So, time to check the health of them. 
This one has quite warm this time. But in the head it will be okay. I think it will be the same story for most of these. The head will be okay. Let's check this one. This one is much more firm, so yeah, I think this one is healthy. Or not. There are some worms in there, so I'm not sure. I will need to check it more, but probably at least parts of it will be usable. This one will be okay, just the bottom of the stem is quite soft, so I will rather get rid of it. But this can go to the basket. And let's check one more of the smaller ones. Uh, this one looks absolutely clean. Yeah. Beautiful, healthy, young sep. So that one is the best. And the three remaining ones will be probably the same as the previous ones. This is a nice old man of the woods in the morning sunlight. Here is a nice group of old men of the woods. Seems like there are three, probably before there were more. They are having a good season now, apparently. Here is a nice young birch bullet. This one looks very good. Here are some birches. Not far from the birch bolete. And Boletus edulis also likes to grow near birches. This is a nice example of that. Look how beautiful sap. A bit bitten from the other side, but looking very nicely. The shape is great. And I hope it will be healthy. We'll see. So let's check the health. It's healthy and I will cut a little bit of the head, the bitten part needs to go out but look how beautiful mushroom to the basket. Between the colorful leaves it's not so easy to spot but we have some amethyst chanterelles here. From golden chanterelles they differ, for example, by a bit different color of the hat on top. But I like to pick them. In my experience they usually grow a bit bigger than golden chanterelles, but maybe that's just a coincidence of my finds. There are qu quite many young ones around starting but this is what I take from here this looks like two nice birch bolets one two they look very good
There are a mixture of trees like birches, hazels, spruces, maybe aspens. And I saw this beautiful orange birch bolete here. It's young and fresh and the size is quite nice so I'm taking it. Next to it there is another scaber stalk but this is not orange birch bolete this is maybe hazel bolete or the classical birch bolete. However behind me I noticed a nice colored hat, which I assumed it will be a Boletus edulis. And it is. Very nice. And that's still not all. Because from quite a long distance I have seen a huge mushroom, at first I didn't know what mushroom it is, so I had to go there and check, and now we are going there together. Probably because of this find I will put this video also to my Epic Mushroom Hunts playlist. Can you see that? In the sunlight. But at first, I will take this one. So two smaller ones. And a huge one. So one more time, hear the sound. Such a huge, very heavy. Not sure if it will be healthy. The stem is a bit soft, but we'll see. As the hat is so firm, Maybe at least the hat will be usable. So here they are. Time to check the health. We'll start with the birch bolete. I mean orange birch bolete. This one is healthy, but that's no surprise. They usually are, but not always. The small one will be okay. This one also looks okay. How about the big one? I'm really curious. There are quite many worms in the stem. The stem is completely wormy, unfortunately. But maybe most of the hut will be okay, I will check. So 
some holes but could be usable something nice is hiding here a beautiful young edulis this one looks exceptionally fresh I could smell something bad and then I noticed an egg of a similar mushroom to a stink horn or at least a mushroom that works on a similar principle that grow, grows from such eggs and when it grows out it looks like this quite an alien look this mushroom is not an original species in Europe it was imported from some other part of the world I just don't remember from where exactly and I took a picture of it not sure if you can see that but we have some more of Boletus edulis specimen in this beach forest ouch I don't want to touch everything around here it looks like a deer toilet so I need to be careful but we have three more and beautiful guys to the basket another of the lessinum species today this is lessinum albostipitatum which grows under aspens and this is a nice fresh specimen today we also have some black trumpets here This group is quite big, so I will take them. But I will let the others grow because those are just starting. A nice spot here. This looks like a well grown Boletus reticulatus, summer sap perfect shape then here is a small lessinum I think this is a hazel bolid lessinum pseudoscabrum if I'm not wrong yes it likes to grow under hazel and also under ironwood trees and there are some more for example here beautiful a little bit bigger one here And I saw some more but those were quite huge and I don't want to take those I take these which are fresh so the hazel bolids were all healthy and I'm really curious about the summer set it's very firm oh wow it seems to be clean and there are some worms I don't want to cut all the stem here so that will probably be a bit of a surprise for home but I believe if there are some worms it should be not too ma many so look how beautiful summer tip four nice mushrooms from this spot 
found another nice patch of summer chips. There are many small ones, for example this one. Or this one. Of course I'm not taking such tiny ones. But this one is big enough to take. It's growing with a twin. Beautiful mushrooms. And look at this. Quite a nice big one. Beautiful mushroom. Another medium size. Perfect shape, not damaged. And one more very tiny, which will stay here. So these guys will go with me. We have this beautiful river here. And from the other side of the river I saw some steps on this side. They were not so well visible as they are now. But I was lucky to spot them. And with no much hesitation I'm going to pick all of them. So, four beautiful steps, really amazing find. And they were all healthy, a little ex ex exception was this one which had some wormholes in the stem but should be alright. So, really amazing find. So guys, that's it for today's mushroom hunting. I enjoyed it a lot because as you can see we have a basket full of beautiful mushrooms. We have ceps, summer ceps, various types of scaber stalks, chanterelles, black trumpets and even a scarletina bolete. So I hope you liked this video. If yes then please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already, share the video with your friends or check the links in the description below. You can also check my Twitter, Instagram or Facebook. And I will be happy to see you next time. So thank you all for watching and bye bye.